Hi, Karen Curry Parker here. We're going to explore the roles and the energies of the planets and how those influence your chart as well as the transits and the purpose of the transits. I'm just going to walk through the role that the planets play in all intents and purposes when we are exploring the transits, in particular the transits we talk about in the evolution guide, we're really only looking mostly at the sun because it's kind of a good way to cover the entire spectrum of what we'll be talking about. But I want you just to understand the role that the planets play overall in setting the theme for our evolution and also for you to begin the exploration of how the individual planets in your unique chart also influence how you know yourself and how you express the story of who you are. In the evolution guide, we explore most consistently the sun and the solar energy and how it influences your chart and most importantly, the planetary transits. The sun moves in human design through the 64 hexagrams from the Chinese I Ching or the 64 gates over the course of 365 days. It goes through all of the 64 gates in the human design system. I will show you an image of this at the end of this presentation. What that means is that over the course of a calendar year, approximately every six days, the sun transits through one of the 64 core archetypes in the human design system. We use the sun and we focus on the sun because first of all, in your own personal chart, everything pushes through the sun in your chart. What I'm saying is if you look at your human design chart and you notice that next to your chart there's a column of two numbers, a series of black numbers and red numbers, the very top numbers on that column, the red and the black, and most particularly we're looking at the black, represents the energy of your sun, the position that the sun was in at the moment of your birth. You can imagine that everything in this chart is like a funnel the sun expression in your chart is like the tiny hole at the bottom of the funnel, meaning this. Everything in your chart, all the other planetary positions, the Earth, the Moon, the nodes, the Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, etc., pushes through the sun, being the tiny hole, and everything that you express out into the world is going to be most importantly expressed through your solar energy. So, when you go through the evolution guide and you come upon the solar position of your birthday, the position the sun was in at the moment of your birth, that's going to be on your actual birthday. It's a great opportunity for you to really look at the theme that is playing out in your sun, in your conscious sun, the sun that the position of the sun at the moment of your birth, because that theme is going to be a big place where you explore both the high and the low side over the course of your life. And it's going to be a big place where so much of your life energy is involved with expressing. It's the vehicle through which, or the archetype, which serves as the vehicle through which you express a big bulk of who you are. And certainly because it's the sun, it's your outer expression. It's also the vehicle that you use to express the bulk of who you are in this lifetime. In the transits, we follow the movement of the sun because the movement of the sun sort of sets the expressive tone for the week that it's transiting. And so in the evolution guide, you have pretty much a weekly, it's not really exactly weekly, it's every six days, you have a movement of the sun every six days that brings into the energy influence of the planet the theme of the gate that it's located in. So for example, the human design year starts on the gate 41, the gate of fantasy or, or the gate of imagination. And this energy, this is actually marks the beginning of the human design new year, which usually happens around January 21, 22. And when the sun transits in this gate 41 energy, we are all exploring through the use of our imagination, what else is possible for our lives? What else do we want to create in our reality? We are taking stock of what's showing up in the world around us. And we are asking ourselves, do I want more of this? Do I want less of this? How do I want to change this? We're using our imaginations to engage in what else is possible for ourselves and what else we want to be putting our energy into creating. 
whatever is in the earth position is what grounds us. We don't really look too much at the earth in the human design evolution guide, but we, in your own personal chart, whatever is in your earth, what gate is in your earth, it's a circle with a cross in it. Whatever is in that earth energy, whatever gates are there, are energies that ground you. And they are grounding because it's energies that you actually receive from. So looking at your own chart, if you look at the position of the earth, it's going to tell you a lot about what you need to receive in your life in order to feel grounded. Whatever is in your moon is what drives you. So when we look at the position of the moon in the natal chart, those two gates, the conscious and the unconscious, are going to be what drive you. Now, when we look at the evolution guide, you'll see that there are lunar declinations in the evolution guide. We do work every month with new moon energy and the position of the moon during the new moon cycle, as well as full moon energy and the position of the moon in the full moon cycle. The new moon from new moon to new moon sort of bookends a small creative cycle within the year. The full moon is all about releasing what might be holding you back from creating what you want to be creating within that new moon cycle. So the new moon is creativity. The full moon is releasing. So there are exercises in the evolution guide that support you in working with the intentions and the energies of the new moon as well as the full moon. In your personal human design chart, the north node is the theme of your mature life, meaning the theme that happens in your chart, the mature team theme that gets expressed after the age of approximately 40. The south node is the youthful theme of your chart. From your south node theme, you gain mastery and wisdom and experience. And from that mastery, wisdom and experience, you then move into your north node theme around what I would call the older midlife. I don't really refer to that as a midlife in the chart anymore because our lifespan is longer, but the traditional midlife happens around 40. In the transits, we look at the nodes as setting the tone for the theme, the celestial theme that we are working with. Whatever is in your Mercury is going to be whatever you are here to talk about or communicate about in your chart, in your life. Whatever is in your Venus is what you really value in your life. So Venus is all about what you value. And for people who are attracted to women romantically, this is also where we oftentimes see the themes of your romantic life being played out. Whatever in Mars is where you have youthful lessons that push you again towards maturity. In the transits, when we look at what's in Mars, we're also looking about at where there is tension or even the energy of fighting or dis-ease or struggling for growth, not only in our personal lives, but also in the collective. Mars energy can sometimes be war energy. So we look at where Mars is in the transits, not in the evolution guide, but generally speaking, when you watch the weekly human design transit report or evolution report, when I talk about some of the tensions that are happening in the evolution report, I'm referring to oftentimes what's going on in the Mars energy. For people who are attracted to men romantically, your, your romantic themes will show up in the Mars position in your chart. So you will maybe or quite frequently be attracted to people who carry some of the thematic energy that's in your Mars position in your chart if you are attracted to men. Jupiter is a planet that tells you where you get your blessings. It's archetypically the energies that need to be in place in the highest expression in order for you to receive and access and tap into the sufficiency and abundance that is available to you infinitely from the universe. Saturn we call the great teacher. Saturn is alignment energy. Whatever position Saturn is in your chart is going to tell you a lot about where you have opportunities for growth. It's also going to be where you're going to feel pain sometimes if you're really out of alignment with living your purpose and most importantly, living true to your human design energy type. Uranus is a generational pattern, and whatever is in Uranus shows us, especially collectively, because it's usually a planet that affects really in a big, broad way the entire world. Whatever is in Uranus is about unexpected initiations. It's the place where we experience the unexpected. 
Neptune, the planet Neptune represents your spiritual connection and your purpose. So when you look at your Neptune, the gates that are in your Neptune oftentimes are tied to or associated with your spiritual purpose. Also, sometimes whatever's in your Neptune can also be kind of murky and veiled to you. You may not always recognize your Neptune. It might be something that feels elusive in your life that you really want, but you can't quite figure out quite how to grasp. So be mindful as you mature that you'll get a deeper connection with your Neptune energy. Pluto is the place where you experience expansion through challenge. And Pluto, again, is a generational planet. It moves very, very slowly. And as, pl as Pluto moves, it sets the tone for our human expansion and gives us opportunities through our challenges to deepen the full expression of our human journey. I just want to show you this really quickly. This is the human design mandala. This is just a very different way of looking at planetary positions in the chart. Many of you have just the chart that only has the triangle in the middle plus the numbers on the left. This is just a different visual image to kind of show you some of the ways that this actually plays out visually. You'll notice when you look at this mandala, there's an inner ring that represents the traditional astrology. So if you know traditional astrology, you might see, for example, in this chart that the sun position in the gate 30 is also in Pisces. Okay, so you would know if you if you were doing a traditional astrology reading with this particular person, you would know that their unconscious sun is in Pisces, that their conscious sun is actually in Leo, which is the cross over on the other side. You know this because the rays from this that, that come out from the triangle in the middle are actually coloring in sort of the stream of energy there and hits the inner astrological wheel. The reason I wanted to show you this is I just wanted to show you there's an outer wheel that represents the 64 hexagrams from the Chinese I Ching or the 64 gates in the human design system. They are one-to-one -one correlation between the I Ching and the gates in human design. The sun moves through or moves around this entire mandala over the course of approximately 365 days. And as I said again, in the human design evolution guide, we actually follow the movement of the sun uh, with the purpose of supporting us in exploring all of the potential archetypes of the human design system. You have all of the gates in your chart in your life. Don't think that because some things in the chart are white, you don't have them. The difference is that whatever is colored in is fixed and consistent. These are energies that you will be experiencing all the time because you carry these energies within you. Whatever is open, you can experience those energies as well. It's not like you don't have them. It's that you experience those energies in a variable kind of a way. And because you experience a lot of variability there and intensity there, Sometimes those energies can cause you to get confused about who you really are, but ultimately the purpose of those energies is for you to become wise about them. So there isn't any of these 64 hexagrams that you don't experience. You will always be experiencing all of them at various points in time. You'll be experiencing the ones you have defined or colored in on your chart, and you'll be experiencing the ones that you have open in your chart at least a certain times during the year, and usually also from the people around you. So going through all of these gates in the evolution guide in a very systematic way just gives you a really nice systematic way to explore where you want to grow and expand in consciousness in your life. You always have the opportunity to grow. Here's to you growing and having an expansive and meaningful year through exploring the archetypes in the human design chart and to helping you bring out the highest expression of those archetypes and making the best use of the planetary transits as they support us in our growth and expansion each and every day, each and every month, each and every year. Have a great year.